planning, which facilitates orderly development, is a critical pillar to sound environmental management. Last year, you will recall that we confirmed the Kingston and St. Andrew Pedro Keys Development Order. We are actively working to complete the parish development orders for St. Thomas, St. Elizabeth, Hanover, and St. James. I'm happy to report the promulgation of the Portmore confirmed development order. I'm also happy to report that NEPA has completed the master plans for Constant Spring, Halfway Tree, and Negril. I'm pleased to report that the beach access and management policy is complete and will be tabled at the next sitting of the House. The policy seeks to ensure Jamaica's beaches are preserved and sustainably managed for present and future generations. And the provision is made for Jamaicans to be able to access their beaches. The existing Fantasy Beach Park in Priory St. Anne will be developed into a parish beach park similar to the Harmony Park in Montego Bay. The government will be upgrading another nine free community beaches this year. Beyond 2024-2025 budget year, we will develop the Boston Beach Park in Portland and we will do a major beach park in Negril. Coastal assessments and hazard maps have been completed for eight priority coastal areas. We have already successfully implemented the 1.3 billion Port Royal Street revetment that protects one kilometer of shoreline and the adjacent economic assets, transport routes, and communities in downtown Kingston. In the coming year, the budget includes funding for a revetment at Buff Bay in Portland and shoreline protection at Anato Bay in St. Mary. I'm proud to report that the development, our Development Bank of Jamaica, has been accredited by the Green Climate Fund as a national direct access entity that allows for application and implementation of large climate projects of over US $250 million. This accreditation is the largest received for any national entity within the Caribbean. I'm happy to announce that today I will table Jamaica's Omnibus Protected Areas Green Policy Paper. In the coming fiscal year, we will complete declarations of protection under the NRCA Act for the following five areas. Canoe Valley, which borders Manchester and Clarendon, Montpelier in St. James, Long Mountain, St. Andrew, Industry Cove, Hanover, and Bengal, St. Anne. Additionally, your government will declare 23 parcels of Crown land as forest reserves or forest management areas under the Forestry Act in 2024-2025. The Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation will collaborate with the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Mining to increase the island's network of fish sanctuaries by expanding existing ones and establishing new sanctuaries under the Fisheries Act. We will also pursue amendments for the marine park regulations to simplify the administration of user fees. In response to the increasing challenges posed to the island's natural waterways, the government will commence work on the development of a national wetlands and freshwater policy for Jamaica. Jamaica will complete its national policy on the environmentally sound management of single-use plastics. This year, we will begin the separation of waste, in particular, plastic waste, at all government facilities nationally. Jamaica will also enter phase four of the ban on some plastic materials on June 1 of this year. This phase will include a ban on the manufacture, import, and distribution of single-use plastic lunch boxes and on personal care products using microplastics. Your government will be tabling for debate amendments to raise the fines in both pieces of legislation from a 50,000 ceiling under the NRCA Act and a 1.5 million ceiling under the Wildlife Protection Act to a 5 million ceiling in both pieces of legislation for individuals 
but $10 million for corporate bodies. That's a substantial increase. Today, I am happy to table Jamaica's new watershed policy. I've given instructions to NEPA to develop a policy that would see the banning of any waste or effluent being discharged into the Rio Cobra. We have uh, put in place uh, a new water treatment facility and therefore we must protect that body of water.